Hello. Let me get the game music back up. All right. Holy shit. A hundred followers? I like, I feel so incredibly grateful to every single one of you who shows up to my stream and, and chats and lurks and hangs out. And it like, I, it, it just makes, it makes me feel so nice. Oh, thank you. I was like, I'm going to wear my favorite dress. I'm going to put on a necklace. I'm going to make my makeup match. Put in some effort. <laughs> um, thank you. So thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, Pyro. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I just, I feel, I feel so grateful. And um, I, it just, it, it was so quick, right? Like I just started streaming like two months ago and then just like, hit affiliate and then and now like with less than a month we've like doubled that number of followers and and I could not do that without you guys um so it makes me feel great and um and yeah we've got multiple cats in the room here today we've got both of them just just the two I only have two but they're both here um because the windows are open and they're like psyched about it um but I was able to go for a run this morning and feeling productive. Um, yeah, plans for today. Plans for today, I'm gonna play a couple hours of Outer Wilds, see how far we get. And then when I feel like switching games, we're gonna switch games. Um, I haven't like 100% decided what other games I'm gonna play today, but I did pick up uh, from, my, from my local library a copy of the PlayStation 4 Cyberpunk. So I'm kind of, curious to test that out and see how many times we run into like critical game breaking bugs um i know they put out some updates so it's possible that that is like a thing of the past but i haven't heard that the game has actually improved so <laughs> but i do want to check it out um probably also gonna play some hades because that's just such a good go-to um maybe something else if we're feeling saucy um I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how long I stream for. I've never done a really long stream. Hey, Mike, welcome in. Um, I've never done a super long stream before, so um, I didn't want to set like a goal of like a 12 hour stream or a six hour stream. I'm like, I'll just stream however long I feel like it. Um, but the goal is longer than a normal stream and we'll do two games at least. Sound good? Get this loaded in. Ooh. I'm like, I'm still kind of winded from my run earlier. I like, I don't run very much. Um, so my body is still kind of like adapting to it. So I went to a local, actually a local cemetery, but it is curated by the same people that maintain uh, Central Park in New York. So it's um, absolutely beautiful. There's, you know, flowering trees everywhere right now. Um, and uh so i was like oh that'll be a good place to get some walking in and get get a bit of a run in uh and i i ran for maybe 15 10 or 15 minutes and like almost immediately had like an asthma attack and i had to sit down and stop and use my inhaler and stuff and before i've like used my inhaler uh before going on a run and it like would prevent me having asthma. Also, Allie, thank you so much for the hundred bits. Thank you. Welcome in, Allie. Um, uh, but yeah, I actually had to like sit down and catch my breath and um, that was kind of new for me. So I don't know, maybe something I'll talk to my doctor about the next time I go in. Allie, how are you today? What are we doing in this game right now? What is even happening? But yeah, it's really nice to see y'all here. Thanks for, for dropping in, Mike, and Allie, and Pyro, and Lou. So, the Ash Twin Project. You woke up 20 minutes ago and watched Orc down some chicken? Yeah, I was in there for a few minutes while I was, like, getting ready and doing my makeup and stuff. I, like, I can't do mukbangs. Um, I understand the appeal, I think. 
but for me, I just like it's the sound of chewing that I I'm just like, uh, anything else, please. So. Oh, this is my drifting controller. All right, I'm putting this one on my bed because that one is the one that drifts. I always mean to put a like a sticker on it and I keep forgetting. Um, Allie, I'm so jealous of your ability to sleep in. I just checked the time. Um, You don't know if you could do one yourself, but you love to watch them. Yeah, you've mentioned that. You've mentioned that you like watching them. Hey, Kusanagi, hello. Welcome in. I am trying to get my bearings a little bit because, like... Oh, Lou, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Did it not even... Oh, there it is. I was like, where's the notification? We could go back to the quantum caves. <laughs> I have 100 followers. It's so crazy. I'm like, 100 people want to talk to me? What? Why? <laughs> um, the Im imposter syndrome is real, you guys. It is a real thing. Uh, good to see how much I've learned. I, like, so... I've gotten to a lot of places. And... I'm just trying to work out, like, where my next focus should be. Oh, I know where our next focus should be. It should be the god damn... Dark Bramble. I don't want to go back to Dark Bramble. But that's probably what we're gonna have to do. The real question is, where the fuck are these things? I wonder if there's like a special sound that it makes. All right, yeah, we're going to Dark Bramble. I hate it. We'll get it over with quickly. I hope y'all signed up to see my me make this face for like, hey, look at that little probe. Um, just make this face for probably like an hour and a half that we're gonna be trying to get into Dark Bramble. Just yep, I'm not a fan. Oh, something else that I want to try today. So I have a new GPU. I've mentioned that a couple of times. Um, but I want to try recording and streaming at the same time so that I don't have to download from Twitch. Um, whether or not that'll be successful, I'm not sure. Gonna see some friends with teeth in here. We sure are. Um, but uh, especially for like Cyberpunk later, I know that th some some parts of that game are just gonna get muted in the VOD. Um, and I like, I could just turn off the copyright music or all the music uh, because I know that some of the non-copyrighted music was still getting flagged by Twitch when, when the game launched. Um, but I, uh, would rather just be able to stream it as normal and then upload the VOD without issues with music because I don't monetize on YouTube at all so like quantum fluctuations hmm I guess this won't help me which kind of stinks So the one thing I haven't worked out 
yet about this area is how I should even begin looking for the vessel and the third location. Uh, I do remember that this particular area, like, didn't have any angler fish, I think. Uh, there we go. No, no, equip that, send that. You had 15 missed messages, uh, and in, like, three group chats and so many discords. Uh, yeah, so what I did the other day is I went down and I mute- So I didn't want to completely mute every channel that I was a part of, because I'm in, like, 15 discords, right? Um, so what I did is I muted the ones that I'm not very active in, that I, that I just check every once in a while. I muted those entirely. And then, um, uh, uh, um... With the other ones that I am active in, I muted all of the subcategories that I don't engage in. And then I left just, like, the general one and the announcements one unmuted. So I would see the, like, important stuff, but I wouldn't get notified about everything. Because it was just too much. Also, I'm just, like, not prepared for jump scares today. Like... I'm just not ready. Turned on notifications for all except for, I assume you mean off, based on the context. theory we know how the last one went it was it was it was wrong uh, but I don't think there's any angler fish in this area which means that maybe we can just browse around a little bit and see what we find because I really want to find the uh, the vessel. Although I'm not even seeing anything when sending out these probes. There's got to be a better way to find this stuff. Yeah, just have it so if someone ats you, then you see it. The other four, you'll get notifications. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, for like mine I have, or, or ours, um, uh... I obviously have everything on. Oh! Oh! Master alarm. Reactor damaged. Oh shit! Yeah, that's... I think the last time something like that happened, the ship exploded. That's what I get for being careless. Hey, Knob. Welcome. Yeah, I, um, that's the first time I've ever fixed it, to be honest. Where's the other broken bit? Oh, is that it? Yeah. Yeah, I had a hunch that it was inside the ship. That was just kind of lucky, though, that I saw it. I guess I can turn my headlights on, since I don't think there's any angler fish here. I'm 
I'm definitely gonna like destroy my ship by just like looking around and stuff though. Yeah, just like that. With the thorns. I never noticed that there was a master alarm before. Was this how I came in? Yep. Yep, it was. That was indeed how I got in. And I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up, you guys. Shit. Alright. Nob, how are you doing today? Crunch. Man, I like... I don't love that I don't have any idea of how to look for these things. <gasps> I know they're in there. Are you guys proud of me? I didn't do a full 360 turn. You're doing great. Heading out to the store to get some groceries. Get something tasty. Get, like, something special that you wouldn't normally get that you're like, today's the day for it. I don't know what that is for you, but you're worth it. Chocolate. Yes. That's what I would get. <laughs> I, like, I have chocolate that I just, like, keep on my desk. It's this specifically, or this, like, orange, freeze-dried orange chocolate. That's just kind of like my comfort, like, I have a couple pieces a day. I would eat the whole bar in one sitting if I if I could. Um, you know what? I want to I want to go back to this again. The Nomai warped to this solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the eye of the universe. The Vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed into Dark Bramble. Escape Pod 3. One of the three Nomai escape pods never made it out of Dark Bramble. Man, I just... I feel like we should have more information. And it makes me hesitant to just, like, dive in without an idea. That's what I don't like. I don't like wandering aimlessly. I like to have a hunch that I'm working with. And, and right now, I'm just kind of, like, exploring and not really getting anywhere. So it makes me wonder if I should, like, go elsewhere. But I don't really know where else to go. There's the frozen shuttle, but I haven't figured that out yet. Lunar ruins. Some sort of device on Adel on the Adel Rock. Where is where is Adel Rock? Adel Rock is in Is it the moon? The Adel Rock. Okay, let's You know what? Let's go here. Let's yeah, let's let's go here. Let's go to the moon and uh I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. I don't I I don't need Hey Loof! Welcome in. The Adel Rock. So we have not found the lunar ruins. You know, let's just fly around for a second. We've got the ship there. <laughs> yeah, I know, Loof, it's been so long. I will never get tired of that meme. Is this the lunar ruins? I don't 
I don't think so. Oops. That looks like something I can interact with. All right. I'm always checking that I'm wearing my suit now because I'm so nervous. No, 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 this way. Yeah. Oh, Luke, thank you so much for the pets. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I mean, like, I'm, I'm going to be saying this all day, but, like, it's it's you guys that really got me here like especially the other you know more uh experienced streamers that like you guys have worked for for months or years in some case to build up your community and then you shared your communities with me and i am just like forever grateful because streaming has been so such a positive impact on my life the last like two months and it's only been like two months it's crazy it's crazy um i'm just i'm gonna be saying really sappy stuff all day i should have had a, a sappy uh comment counter that would have been that would have been good if i had the forethought for it but oh, that's fine all right a sappy drunk stream when you know i haven't been drunk in so long i don't even know what i'm like when i'm drunk anymore um, this is an old crater the neat thing here is that the composition of the samples i took from the impact site match composition of the ice on the outskirts of dark bramble um i'd pose it the adel rock was hit with a piece of that planet that used to be where dark bramble lies now uh to follow up on maybe there are more fragments of the old Dark, uh, old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on the astral bodies in the solar system. I think we had, uh... I think we've already, like, explored this little area. Oh my god, it's so dark! You know what? I'm gonna get back in my ship. There's no gravity here! Ugh! Just glad we all linked up and combined our efforts. It's better together. 100%, yeah. For sure. We're just- we all get to- to benefit from meeting awesome people, and... It's super dope! It's just really cool. I don't know, it's- I'm just... Always impressed by- by everybody, and... Alright, where is the tiny entrance to the middle of this moon? Is this new to me? Sorry, ship. I feel bad the way I treat my ship sometimes. Yeah, everybody that I've interacted with on Twitch has been so kind. Um, Esker's signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Rybex banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I feel, I'd feel i feel better if uh, once I can hear their music. Day 51, listen to Chirp play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gosen their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Day 55, banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybex doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Hey, Arco! And hey, hey, Bastina! How are you guys? Welcome in! Day 63, I, uh, today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it was probably nothing. No, it's back again today, too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Felspar's harmonica, but Felspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I better talk to uh, Genesis. Genesis? Uh. 
I don't know if I've been to whatever that is. That might be a good place to check out. Uh... I'm still not finding this, like, lunar site. You're gonna, uh, dip out for a few, but you'll be back? Yeah, no worries. And, like, don't feel obligated to be here if you're the only mod either. Like, I can, I can hold the fort, but I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Yeah, the, the, like, mod balancing is so weird, because I think I've got, like, uh... <laughs> mod's gone, now you can be toxic. Um, uh... Balancing mods is, like, so... Kind of, it's, it's hard? It's weird. Because, like, you want to make sure you have enough that you always, like, have one mod in chat, and people will, like, of course, roll in and out, and so it's, like, how many is a good number? I don't know. Hey, Arya! How are you? Oh, hey, it's you. Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I actually guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Um, what were you whistling? Uh, probably or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments so they don't bother whistling. Yep. Uh, doing good. How's the stream? Stream's going good. We just got started. I'm, like, trying to figure out, um, <laughs> it said mods gun. Um, trying to figure out what my goals are in Outer Wilds today because I'm, I don't want to say I'm stuck, but I'm just, like, not quite sure how to get to where I'm going. So I'm, I'm like, trying to see what progress I can make. How long am I streaming today? I don't really, you know, I don't have a plan. I was thinking, like, about, um trying to set like a six hour or 12 hour uh stream length but just like for the special occasion but i've never done a long stream before so my plan for today is to stream outer wilds for a couple of hours two or three hours then we'll switch games we'll play that one for a couple of hours and then we'll see how i'm feeling if um if i uh if my voice hurts and i just like need to stop then i don't know we'll do we'll do six hours or i don't i don't know Figure it out. Who needs plans? Also, hi, I'm Billis. How are you doing today? Uh, what is this place? I've talked to this guy before. I'm just wondering if he'll give me a hint about this lunar location. Oh, whoops. I, I thought that hitting uh, B would, would get me out. Uh, talk to you later. Can't stay the whole time. You stay as long as possible. No worries, Allie. I never, I never expect people to stay for a whole stream. Like, I, I would never, uh, expect that. I'm just, like, happy if anybody's here at all. <laughs> oh, maybe I, wait, what was the new information? Uh, game, what was the new information? Where's my little icon that tells me what was added? Huh. Weird. I don't know what got added there. Let's keep browsing around on this planet. Or on this moon.
I feel like it's got to be here, right? But I've already checked that recording. And I don't see any other, like, places to look. Oh, oh, here we go. Just never noticed this before. Ah, perfect landing. Love to see it. All right, what's all this then? Is this just, like, giving me whatever the ambient sound is of each of these locations? What about the sixth location? Is it even going to be able to zero in on it? Interesting. know what this one is. What is this one? Is it the sun? Maybe that's the sun station. <gasps> There's a staircase. Okay, wow, wow, I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it uh, for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure, I was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow. So I'll fly there and see if I can learn more. Yep, just gotta get back to the old ship and take off. Totally safe, mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Let's start with this one. Uh, where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal lo larger than this eye signal locator is. The southern glacier on Br Brittle Hollow has ample space, ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Kanoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow South Pole immediately then. So that was the observatory, right? Anona and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built, the qu built a quantum moon locator there, but the uh, the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building. I would rec I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Oh yeah, I remember that little locator. We got the sixth location. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep, and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the uh, eye signal locator to follow the eyes signal. Um, the device, the device's indicator rotates wildly and never points it to just one location. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. 
However, so oh, I seem uh, I most likely collaborated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to post at this, my uh, my friends, but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the eye of the universe. Thatch, then we will build it. Don't lose hope, uh, Kesavana. Our search for the eye is what brought us, brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Oh, so this is the eye, not the sixth location? I always get that a little confused. Was there anything else here before I leave? Yeah, mostly safe. I think it's fine. I'm like always checking if something is quantum now. So I guess this is the eye and not the uh... There's another location down. There we go. The Nomai device created to pinpoint the sources of a distant of distant signals. The Nomai were disappointed by their failure to detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. Chocolate acquired, also groceries. Very nice. That was a quick grocery run. Whenever I go to the grocery store, it takes like an hour. Quantum caves. Hmm. I went back to the quantum caves and I did not... Sort it out. There's also the launch module. Let's go back there next. Maybe I can land on one of those pieces that's flying around, uh giant steep. Hazelnut uh, dark chocolate bar. Very nice. How do you feel about hazelnut coffee? I don't know if you drink coffee. This is a weird autopilot. I think I was like getting pulled into the other planet a little bit. Hazelnut is amazing. I like, I don't have strong feelings about it one way or the other. You're only upright because of coffee. You hate hazelnut coffee. That was kind of my question, is it seems like a lot of people, regardless of whether they like hazelnut or not, don't like hazelnut coffee. Alright, this was a weird... Not a flavored coffee person, but you respect it. Yeah, I used to, like, only drink flavored coffee. Um, when I was, like, a coffee noob. Um, and now I, I, now I feel like I know, I have a bit of, a bit more of a refined palate, I suppose. So 
So I'm wondering if there's like anything attached to this that I should interact with. I kind of doubt it. Find a roast you like, uh, and then it tastes good. Anything Starbucks uh, tastes burnt. Yeah, for sure. They definitely over-roast their beans. Flavor notes of a house fire. Alright. Alright, game. So this is the one that's like totally, totally gone. Ugh. Oh, I can get in from the other side. I thought that it was like broken off. Hey, Ronox. How are you? Uh, I'm disoriented. Okay, all right. Whew. I actually kind of want to leave my ship here because I don't think I'll be able to get. Oh, I guess I I re I need to redo my fuel first. Fill up on fuel. Uh, good getting ready for lunch. Nice. Let me out, let me out. There we go. Hopefully, I don't get lost. I think I'm gonna get lost doing it this way. Oh, maybe not. That's it. Ah. Aha! We made it. Ah. Nice. Are they following each other? <laughs> following everyone around. Uh, imagine, Privyet, that probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. I've read this one before. We only need to fire the probe once anyways, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would not mind, Mallow. I would, um, I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe data if the probe tracking module is damaged. I've definitely read this before, though. I wonder if, like, something didn't save one time that I played. Gimme. Yes. Mallow, my better 
Kasava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. Kasava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see. Am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? I can post it with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, and as far as it can, I'll make some adjustments. The thought of concluding our elders cur uh, curious and challenging searches increases my heart's temperature, my love. Drop it. Pick it up. So I get the idea that that these modules are like pictures, just like how things were once upon a time. But I don't really know what to do with that information. Do you need a big brain to play this game? Um... I... I don't think so. Um, you have to enjoy puzzles. Absolutely. You need a patient brain. Yes, Allie, that's a great way to put it. Um, the game tells you everything that you need to know to solve these puzzles and make progress, right? But you have to find all of those pieces, and then you have to, like think about which pieces of information are relevant to what you're currently doing. So, like, it's, uh, yeah, I think patience, like Ali said, is, is the most important factor. Like, it's, it's not a particularly challenging puzzle system. It's not like playing, um, I don't know, antechamber or some other like uh baba is you it's not like baba is you i find that to be a extremely challenging puzzle game uh, so you're saying there's a chance I think even if your brain gets stun locked as well, it's hard to get frustrated exploring this world. Yeah, it's a it's a very cool solar system and environment. Like, <laughs> wait, <laughs> you guys know how to read. We need a mod. That's funny. Um, it was frustrating for you at times for sure. Like, yeah, like I'm definitely like getting stumped at this point. Um, and I know I'll figure it out, but it's, it's, I'm running out of things that I can just, like, be like, oh, I don't know what this means, so I'm gonna go somewhere else. It's like, alright, I've been everywhere. <laughs> Launch module is badly damaged, but its projection pool is still intact. A Nomai named Mallow argued that it wouldn't matter if the cannon's structural integrity was compromised, since they uh, only need to fire the probe once. A Nomai named Privyet countered that they wouldn't be able, wouldn't be capable of receiving the probe's data if the probe tracking module was damaged. Why are you still giving me a notification here? Uh, 
Oh, it's because I have it marked. I was like... Uh, remove. Remove. Uh, ma -ma -da -da. I'm just gonna click through everything a little bit. Oh wow, I can't select the sun. Alright. Quantum caves. We could go back there. That might be next. Might be a little bit more exploring on Ash Twins. Hey, Giant Sequina. How are you? I'm doing quite well. Quite well today. We hit 100 followers. I'm feeling very excited and grateful about it. Um, but I'm also starting to get a little bit frustrated with this game. I'm sure that I'll figure it out. I'm gonna get there. But I'm also, like, uh, stumped. I'm a little stumped. I know that this is all the same as the, uh, the other map, but it helps me, like, see where things are a little bit better. I think we're gonna go back to the Ash Twins next. I really don't- I don't want to go back to Dark Bramble yet. It won't let me select that other thing. I guess that is just with the White Hole Station. They just have the, uh, the, the, the white hole there to show where it is. Um, alright. Let's go to the Ash Twins, especially now that it's getting a little bit late in the loop. There's not a lot of time left, so maybe I'll be able to see something that I haven't seen. Oh yeah, we're like very close to the end now. Oh, there, and there it is. There's the end. We can hear it! Alright, let's look around. Didn't crash. Yeah, you know, whatever, we'll just land. That just takes me up to the top there. if this one also just goes up to the top or if this goes into a specific spot that maybe I haven't been to. Nope, it's just... could have watched it. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Sorry we didn't get to watch it, but, yeah.
Oh, my neighbors fired up a grill outside. Oh man, I might have to close the window. It smells so good. So am I stuck in the game? A little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not sure how to progress right now. Um, and it's just going to be a matter of like trying things out and, and experimenting and testing things, but I'm impatient, damn it. Yeah, they're grilling. Oh my god. I'm so jealous. Um, let's go back. Do I remember an old game called Mist or Riven? Yeah, I, um, I haven't, like, played through Mist, but I've watched people play it a bunch. It's a classic. Some of your favorite games ever? Oh, too fast. You played it when you were like 10 or something? Yeah, I remember I was about the same age, I think, when it came out. And, um, um, all right, you know what? Fine, fine. We're going to go back to the quantum cave. Uh, I remember, whoops, my mom playing it when I was growing up. I'm not going to bother repairing it. Am I going the right way? Yes. You ran an entire D&D campaign based on the Mist series? That's amazing. I don't think I went the right way. There it is. Fajita time in like an hour. Oh, Allie, that sounds so good. Y'all eating all this amazing food. Man, for lunch, I just had a... Uh, uh, what did I have? I had a microwave, like, Trader Joe's tiki masala. The vegan tiki masala. Let me fly you out and feed you all the food you want. Uh, where do I sign, Allie? I am here for it. We were at Trader Joe's, uh, like, two days ago. Trader Joe's is awesome. Oh, God. I get so disoriented. I, like, can't see shit. Where are my quantum spikes? I don't remember getting this lost last time. Oh no, did I fuck up? Oh, we're gonna squish. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Crunch. Well, we're gonna go back. Yeah, it's the worst sound, no kidding. <sighs> All right. Away we go. 
once again. Take two. Maybe I'll just like, ooh, don't go into the other twin. being quick this time. a window because it's like so bright in my room that it's legitimately difficult to uh, see the game. I had figured out this area. Oh, there we go. It's like a little bit mazy, but then they also like trick you. I'll read chat in a moment. I want to, like, get to the place before I run out of time. We got fried raviolis at Trader Joe's. Never had them before. We will see. Ooh. Chinese is up there, too. All the food with tons of flavor and spice. Yes. I eat so much stuff from Trader Joe's because my partner works there. My favorite- I love the soup dumplings, which if you haven't had them, they are worth picking up. Ah! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay. And I can't get past there and we can't go up. All right. Alright, and now we are at the Quantum Cactus. My favorite place in the entire game. The absolute hilarity of the Quantum Cactus. God, it's so funny. All right. They told me there's more to explore here. I'm 
going to make sure I, that everything's been read, because I've definitely come through and read this stuff, but, like, it's telling me I missed something, so... Selfie. So we've been over here, we've read this. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Bullshit. been here too. But Oh shit. There goes all our oxygen. We bred these too. Uh oh, are those guaranteed to burn your mouth? The soup dumplings? Um, they should- I mean, I- I don't think so. Man. Oh, that's new. I didn't notice that before. I just wanna, uh, be put away. I wanna- Skeleton is kind of freaky how it's standing up. Oh, we're gonna die of suffocation! Oh, there we go. Hey! That's nice. I just don't know what I'm missing here. Like, I get how it works, right? Like, I've read all of the text. It's like there's another location that I'm supposed to go to. But I've been to all of these spots. do not know what the deal is here. I might just have to go back to Dark Bramble just to feel like I'm making some amount of progress, you know? I also want to get out of here, and I think this is the fastest way. Or maybe even the only way. Anyone watched uh, Lucifer? You saw the trailer for the second half of season five. I have not seen it yet. We also have uh, a new question of the day. Don't forget, if you're looking for conversation topics,
game, obviously. I, uh, I have a mixed opinion about it, to be honest. I, um, I can forgive a game's, like, clunky gameplay, um, if the story is really immersive. I, I, yeah, I really love a good story. I agree, Allie. Um, because a bad story, regardless of how good the game is, will ruin the experience for me. Um, let's see if actually if I can land somewhere a little bit better. Eh, whatever, I'll just land on the ground. Uh, depends on what game you're looking what you're looking for in a game. Yeah, it's definitely super subjective, and that's why I asked the question. Kind of like see what what parts people value the most. Uh, you think the opposite, good gameplay, and you can skip the story, but if the gameplay is bad, no story is good enough to keep you. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally the opposite. Like, uh... I'm trying to think of, like, a good example of a game that, like, didn't have very good gameplay, but the story was excellent and kept me really invested. Um... Have I heard of a game called Xenosaga? I am familiar with it. I haven't played it, but I I know it exists. This goes to the uh, sun station, I'm pretty sure. Which I don't want to go to right now. This is so tricky. Okay, you a girl who can do both, that's your motto, hell yeah. Um, you're not gonna be looking for a story in an arcade game. That's, yeah, that's true, it depends on the game, yeah. Um, but if you're playing an experience game, then the story will have to be good. <laughs> I wonder where this one goes. I feel like I need to start experimenting more with these, um... Oh, that's just the top of it. Uh, teleporters? Because that's probably gonna end up being the answer. But also, I don't want to, like, teleport to random planets that I don't actually want to go to right now, and I feel like that's what happens whenever I use a teleporter. Like, it doesn't bring me anywhere that's productive for me. And maybe that's just because it's kind of hard to get an idea of where the teleporter goes before you just, like, take off, you know? Blue Dragon was another game that you skipped the story. I haven't played that one either. Oh, here's a good example. So the Walking Dead games, the Telltale ones, or really like... You know what? We can use all Telltale, I think, for this example. Um, 
Oops, where'd I go? See, like, I didn't want to go to Brittle Hollow. And now I'm stuck here because this is a white teleporter. Um, some of the really early Telltale games, I didn't really like the gameplay, but the story... Chep step on it to activate a return warp, but I just did. Um, the story was good, and so I was, like, invested. The teleporters are weird, you guys. Uh, but the later Telltale games, like, they didn't have a great story, and the gameplay sucked. <laughs> now I figured out how to get there and back. Yeah, I guess it just, like, has to be charged. Which I kinda knew. I kinda knew that. Um, it's just some are one way until you get there and then it can go two ways. It's kinda weird. It's kinda weird. Oh, we've been here already. Been to all of these places. Ugh. I feel like there's gotta be a door or something that gets me to the base of this thing. Oh yeah, oh this is how we get into the sun station. Yeah, I remember, we had to wait for the sand. You also skip the story of every Call of Duty game you've played. I think that's another one where it's like, the story is not the main focus, so like, there's not a lot of effort put into writing it, but then again, like, I don't play Call of Duty. Um, so, for me, there are other first-person shooters that I would rather play over that one. But I also don't play multiplayer games, so that's the other big thing, right? Is that, like, multiplayer games are much less likely to have a story. So if it has a strong multiplayer aspect, everything else is going to be secondary. No right or wrong way to enjoy a game as long as you enjoy it. Absolutely. Like, yeah, no, I'm not saying that, like, I think story... Focused is the best type of game, and therefore all games should be made like that. Absolutely not. Single player game is only for you as well, Ellie. I feel ya. You only play multiplayer games if it's cooperative versus an AI. Yeah, I've played, like, I used to be really into StarCraft 2, and the major, whoops, oh no, major way that I played that game was against the computer. Um, I still played the, uh, the ranked a little bit, but not a lot. I was never very good. I was more into the StarCraft, like, community. Fuel level depleted. Um, even then you hardly ever do single player as your jam too. You also play the StarCraft 2 co-op a lot? Yeah, the co-op was fun. trying to find anything to give me a clue. Oh, well, I'm 
suffocating now, so. Horse in a loop. Hmm. 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 Got. We got a cat in the window. You like the constant sound of plant sand on that planet? It's it's nice. It's kind of like it's it's not nice when you're underground, but when uh, you're just wandering around, it's very nice. <laughs> it's just like a pleasant background sound. You haven't played StarCraft two in a while, but you remember the co-op was fun. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, past self or current self, because of what we did. It's coarse and rough and gets everywhere. But the noise is fine. Yeah. Okay. One of my... One of the things that makes me nervous about going back into Dark Bramble is I don't want to waste a bunch of time searching inside Dark Bramble for something when the ship could be somewhere else. But also I just don't have a lot of other things to go off of. Oh, right. We have to be in the driver's seat. Oh, God. I just, like, cringed a little bit, like, inside. It's, it's all fun until sand gets into your teeth. Oh, my God. Oh, like you're eating something and you just all of a sudden, like, crunch and you feel like your tooth just broke in half. Cringe is even looking at Dark Bramble. <laughs> well, we're going back. Get okay, ready, everybody. At least I'm not, like, too scared of it anymore. Like, I, I don't mind... Uh, like... Uh, just kind of wandering around and, like, hoping I... I find so... I, I'm not worried about getting eaten. There we go. I'm impatient because I have to move slowly. That's what I'm trying to say. Sandy ham and cheese. Oh, I hate it. Hey, there's the probe. You prefer dark bramble compared to giant steep? Well, that's just fascinating. Because Giant's Deep was the first planet I went to, and I kind of have a soft spot for it. I think it's my favorite. Giant's Deep makes you viscerally uncomfortable? Oh no. Um. Alright, hopefully we- I'm gonna go back here and hopefully we won't fall back into the trap. Uh. Fall back and, and like, get eaten. Uh, your planet order from least- from favorite to least is Twins, Hearth, Giant Steep, Bramble, Brittle Hollow. Yeah, I do like the twins a lot. That's that's probably my, like, tide. Um. Is this, like, the duplicate signals? Where's the third one? Let's try going to this one.
Or, oh, this just, they all take us to the guy. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's just throw that there so we have a little bit of our bearings. Um And let's just headlights on. I'm not super worried about um like getting eaten or anything in this part of the thing, so I kind of want to just Rome. Also, um, what we don't want to do is uh, you don't like Brittle Hollow because the layout changes as parts enter and leave the black as at parts enter the black hole. Yeah, it makes it really difficult to know when you need to be in a specific location. I yeah, I found it difficult to navigate as well. The dead fish never gets less creepy. Is that the center there? I wonder. Oh, ship, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ship. I didn't mean it. I were the game developers, where would I hide the giant ship inside an infinitely expanding planet? I would put it... in the center, like in the dead center, which we've been to. Which actually might be kind of hard to get back to now. Oops, uh, my ship is so fucked. Let's go repair it. Nope, nope, nope. Too much, too much. the rest of the damaged bits. Okay. This looks like another part. Is that good enough to have the ship not complain? Uh, da da da. I agree with your um, an analysis of Brittle Hollow. Don't like it either. Um, it's such a maze on the other side. You pretty much like Dark Bramble, as weird as it seems. You like Dark Bramble because it amazes you how space works in there. Yeah, it's really interesting for sure. I just don't like navigating in it. <laughs> uh, you've got to go. Thanks for the stream. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out. Have a great rest of your day. So I think I want to leave this area because I don't think it's in here. So Let's go around the edge until we find something that we can... Here we go. And now 
Now we gotta be a little careful. <laughs> That's funny. Don't hit it. Let's go back to this center. Actually, I see that I still have some damage on the ship. I'm going to fix it first. Because I don't want anything to make any... Oh, god damn it! Let me out! Wasn't it this? That's damaged. Oh, it's my landing gear. Alright. There was another thing that was also damaged. Alright, I don't see it. Oh, maybe, maybe we got it. Alright. Here we go. us. Nope. Quantum fluctuations. Maybe we're not far enough in yet. Alright, we're going back to the center. Wish me luck. Thank you, Allie. Don't piss him off. Feels so silly going back here so many times. Wow, I can't believe we didn't touch the tooth. I thought it was going to bump it. I really just want to gun it, but nope, I'll die. So, we're gonna wait. Mm, there it is. There's the center. Uh, so, my thinking right now is we're gonna get into the center, uh, and then I'm gonna send out probes to different spots and see if we can spot anything at all. Um, you know what's weird is I haven't found any lore whatsoever about this. About the, the center of um, Dark Bramble. I can still, still hear them a little bit. Oh, all the cats are sleeping. They're so cute. Here we are. Very nice, very nice. Alright, we 
got a fishy. What about over here? Wonder where this goes. Does this go into our infinite loop? It sure does. I'm just gonna let the scout go for a minute. Let's see, I wanna see if the distance ever gets more than 1.2 meters. 1.3, and then it resets. All right, so it does just loop. Is there anything we can see? That's where we came in. What about this side? Down a little bit. Is this the same infinite loop? Looks like it. Man, y'all, this is, this is tough. I feel kind of silly for being as stumped as I am, but, dang. Don't feel silly, thank you. One of these was a, uh... I was wondering what would happen if I hit it. It always misses. And like these things, I have no idea what they are. Oh, hey, there's one right there. Bump. Let's see, where's one of these that's a way out? that one. Let's go this way. Y'all can tell I'm getting, like, super impatient. Uh... Ah! Alright, there are guys in this area. You know what? Fine. Just, just eat me. I don't care. Alright. Okay. Oh, whoops. My hair. There we go. 
The sweet embrace of the angular jaws. Yep. At least it's a quick reset. <sighs> I'm really thinking. I'm really trying to think about this. An advanced warp core was proved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. So we have to teleport into it, I think. I don't think we can get to the Ash Twin project from the outside. I think it's a sealed thing, um, which would make sense because it's designed to withstand the supernova. So we have to find the other teleporter. But where that teleporter is, I don't know. Um... Designs for each of the towers on Ash Twin's equator. Each tower warps to a different planet, although many Nomai were quick to note that the sun is not actually a planet. Uh, each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination. The towers allowed the Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin uh, and all other locations crucial to the Ash Twin project. I wish that I knew which each of these symbols were. Um, Maybe I should just go stand on each of them. That feels like such a big waste of time. But maybe we should do it. No, wait, we don't want to go to the tower designs. We want to go to the Ash Twins. Um... What also feels kind of funny is um, how you have to wait for the, the Ash Twin a little bit. Tell me why I'm craving cup ramen. Is it because of orcs um, ramen flavored? Uh, hot wings. Alright, where is the other Ash Twin? There it is. Oop. 
Alright, whatever. The sand it has begun. There's like nothing to do yet. Did I park like right in this? No, I didn't. Okay. Want to reminisce in those days that you, uh, that you did or did not have as a young adult that did not know how to cook? <laughs> I never ate that much cup ramen. I did occasionally. all my fuel. I mean, I guess I can refuel at any time. I'm gonna have to get oxygen at some point. I've been cooking a lot more recently. Um, I feel like I'm always cooking. Uh, I always can never find the refuel. There it is. Man, sorry guys. I feel like we've gotten to the part of the game where we kind of just have to wait for me to figure stuff out. It's like a smidge less interesting. <laughs> Look at that, it's the sun station. Alright, well here's one of the... Ugh! Whoops. It's too, too hot, too fast. No need to apologize, there's fun in the journey. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying. Have I been to the sun station? I have! the sun station was really cool it was one of those places that i was trying to get to for a very long time but was struggling to figure it out i'm pretty sure that this is the uh i guess this one looks like a sun from the design actually maybe while we're waiting for some maybe that gives me an idea of how to tell them apart let's go back to our log for a moment so that I think that one's the sun's this one's the sun station. Um, I mean, this one looks like the twins. Maybe I should find this one. Maybe one goes to the Ash Twin Project. As silly as I feel for not, like, oh, here it is, for not having, like, figured it out already, um, it is nice to have a game that doesn't just, like, hold your hand. Oh, I do remember this one. This one's the broken one. Definitely read this scroll, but I'll pick it up anyways, just in case. We're gonna wait for the sun to... sand to clear out for a minute. You played this game a year or two after it came out, but you're told this puzzle um, was originally even more obtuse. They've added hints and such since the release. It doesn't surprise me. 
I, I can see this game very easily being too difficult. You haven't seen any hints added? I think, I think what, uh, Sequina means is, like, um, hints from the early access, right? Maybe. Or maybe you do mean after release. They've changed the wording and a lot of the clues to make it clear. Gotcha. Ow, 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 ow. Rude. I've definitely already read about the high energy lab. Okay. Let's stand here and see what happens. Uh, the thing is, you're punished every time you want to go fast and avoid reading, so you agree that it can be very difficult for people that only... Where am I? Oh, this just takes me back and forth from one planet to the other. Alright. Um, what about this one? I don't know if it'll work because of the broken sign, but... Okay, so... Every time you want to go faster and avoid reading. So, I, I suppose a little bit. I, I guess you're punished there. Ali, enjoy your food. Thank you so much for um, for for hanging out, and thank you for the hundred bits earlier. I will see you later. I'll be streaming for a while, so maybe maybe I'll catch you later tonight, or um, uh, maybe during your stream. We going anywhere? Is this going to take us anywhere? I don't remember the guy being there moments ago. Wait one more minute. I think this one's broken. Unless we're gonna go to Giant Steep. Nope. But the sand is gonna take us. Yep. As I feared. It's alright. At least it put us down nice and gently. Alright, let's get some more O2 and then we'll go to the next one. We're just gonna go to each one and see if we can learn where each one takes us. Yes, this one. Ugh. Oh, of course I landed right on the cactus. It's fine. I 
this one. Prickly bastards, this goddamn quantum cactus. This one also looks broken. I bet this one goes to Timberheart. I'm betting. Maybe not, but... I'm making a face when it goes over Dark Bramble. I'm like, please don't. Giant Steep. Brittle Hollow? No. Timber Hearth. Alright, I was right. We'll go out. We'll read the thing, because I think that's important. Yeah. And then it recharges, and we can go back. Okay. Timber Hearth. Um, I guess we'll go actually. Because this is our next stop. Down, down, down. Too far, too far. Stay away from the sand for a moment. Please don't take me. That's cool. Looking into the eye of the sand storm. Alright. Oh, oops. Alright. Where are we going? So we've had the Sun Station, Timber Hearth, Why did I do this to myself? God damn it, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh no. Uh, what? Uh, I wasn't even thinking. Rip. In my defense, Brittle Hollow's warp has the sheer gall to be upside down. Yeah. Yeah. I blame the game. <laughs> it wasn't my fault, it was the game. I've sure read this. I didn't have any prompts for this location, so. I don't really know what this does. Maybe it powers up the teleporter? I hope so. Be nice. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. I like the little direction indicator. I'm gonna take this this thing with us because I don't know if I've read it. Here we go. Oop. All right. We're on the outside now. Is there anywhere I can plug this in? Rami and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. As I've already told Rami, these measurements can't be accurate. How could a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped onto the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Uh, Poke, as Pi is confident, the reading is inaccurate. She's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. Poke the High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You'll need to see this. Uh, Poke, I don't disagree. I It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have been have tested and retested the equipment, and the, re the result is the same every time someone works. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? weird sound. Oh, maybe that's just because we're on Brittle Hollow. <laughs> this game, you guys. This game. Try to go to Ash Twin by foot. Pretty sure I can do it. Uh oh, try to get to it. Man. That that would be some skill, like I definitely don't have enough fuel. <laughs> I think like the best way to do it would be to like try to get into the if it hasn't already fallen the city try to like get up there again which I'm not sure if I can really do yeah it's fine it's fine Bunk. You don't have to use fuel because of the vacuum of space. Yeah, but I'd like have to adjust and stuff. I'm gonna meditate. I'm 
I'm thinking about switching games just because I'm not really feeling, I'm not making progress here. Like, I need to think about this more. Um, I'm going to take a look at the logs again. I want to check the location um, of those teleports again and see like which one I didn't get to use. See if maybe I can figure out where those all go. But I'm getting really stumped and it's been a lot of aimless wandering. And like, I don't want to go back into Dark Bramble until I have more information. So that one was Brittle Hollow, Sun Station. That one was the opposite twin. This one was Timber Hearth. I think. And that's the one I didn't try. Yeah, because that one you have to wait until it gets all the way down. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do one more. What are we going to do? <laughs> this one is also stumping me. Because I can't figure out how to recall the... Either recall the shuttle, or... Um, have the ice melt. I'm trying to think of every location that has a a launching thing. There's more to explore here. I know! It's killing me! I'm going crazy. Gravity cannon. Is this the one on Timber Hearth? Or not Timber Hearth, on a Brittle Hollow? Maybe we'll, you know what, we're gonna go back to this one. Maybe, because they're connected, right? So maybe that's how I get to it. Because I thought that it always recalled the one that was on the, uh, on the, um, You know what I'm talking about. Quantum Moon. Because we'd recalled a couple of them and it always recalled the one from the Quantum Moon. But those ones are connected, so maybe that was just an oversight that I didn't consider. I hope this works. Oh, we're coming in so fast. I know there's more to explore with that thing, too. I'll take it. Back here. I like just opening all the doors. <laughs> On the comet. I swear this was different before, but maybe I just maybe I just didn't read it. 
Was this just a big oversight that I had? It must- Oh, I'm an idiot! Fuck! I thought I'd be able to squeeze through. Alright. <laughs> oh, the suit! The suit freaked me out. I fear our situation may be dire. Hi, Poke and I have landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in this star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for some t for a long time now. They haven't contracted contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke, Pi, come back to me safely, my friends. Aw, oh, that's so sad. Oh, I love the mask. If I travel, am I going to be stuck? Where am I now? Am I back? I think. Yes, okay. Yeah, ship log updated. Finally, right? My god. Alright, well. Cool. Ah, that was weird. <laughs> That's cool. That's very cool. So now a little bit of time has passed, so let's go check out that very last teleport and see where it goes. Man, I'm glad that we finally got at least a new location. There wasn't as much there as I was hoping, but at least it's gonna have cleared out that there's more to explore. I should have just... Should have paid attention to this way earlier. I feel very silly that I didn't, but you know, and eh, that's how it be sometimes. Okay. And now we're gonna switch. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I bet that I recalled that shuttle and then just didn't go in it because I just assumed it was the same one. Um, I don't think that this is the one. That's the sun station. Oh, you know what? I think... Is it this one? At least we're not in a rush right now, because I know it's like a big cone-shaped one. 
You remember. <laughs> most important part is just like not falling into the sun here. Let's land for a moment. I want to look at the shape of this one again. Yeah, it's got that like spirally shape. all should be on this planet. Follow in the sand. Not that one. It's not those ones. It's not that one. There it is. I think that's it. I hope that's it. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for it to unbury itself. <laughs> I guess this is the one that I haven't been to yet. Regardless. It doesn't look right. Maybe it's just because it's all covered? I guess while it's going we can like take a quick look this way. What's this one? Ooh, maybe this is it. This is the last one. Yeah, this looks right. I'm trying to remember where this one went. If we did this one. Did we do this one? Chat, you can tell me if this is one of the ones we did in the last run. share my suggestion of destination so my hunch is that one of these teleporters is going to go to the ash twin project is my hunch and i think it's this one but i could very much be wrong about one.
one goes to Giant Steep. Alright. God damn it. God damn it. Alright, right, Giant Steep is just like. Isn't that, like, all of them? Oh yeah, this one. So we've now tried all of them, except for the ones that had a broken frame. I think this one went to Brittle Hollow. Almost looks like there's something like in the middle of the sandstorm. But whenever I get swept up by the sand, it doesn't take me up the middle. daisies. Ugh. Alright. Well. There's that. What time is it? It's five o'clock. I think now might be a good time to take a, uh, a bio break and, um, and switch games, I think. Maybe some Hades would be a good time. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to sit on this for a couple of minutes. Maybe I I don't think I'll come back to it today, but I will come back to it in um um uh, uh I won't come back to it today, but I will come back to it in a couple of days for sure, probably Monday or Tuesday, something like that. Do I want advice that is far from being a direct hint? Um Let me think- I'm gonna think about it. While I- cause I, I don't think I'm gonna- 
I'm I'm torn because I want to keep playing, right? And I want to I want to play this game a bit more, but I also don't want to to rush it if it's something that'll come to me in a little bit. Oh, Harvey, what's up? I think Harvey had a nightmare. Hey, bud. You good? He woke up and he he just like yelled. Oh. Let me let me tab over. Tap. Harvey. Hey bud. He just like jumped awake. It's okay. You good, bud? Do I want advice? Um, I'm really tempted to say yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm so stuck. Hey, you can go, buddy. I'm so stuck, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna use the restroom. I will be back in a couple of minutes. Do you guys want to play a mini game while I'm gone? Because I got this really cool mini game, if you guys are interested, for like a five minute. You understand me so much like yeah like I super duper want want the help and and want the guidance but I also just really want to like think about it ah uh, okay